I never specifically intended to make films about the environment. I sort of fell into it through sheer luck and coincidence, I would say. And I met James Balog, the subject of Chasing Ice, my first film. It was through his lens, literally, and through working with him out in the field that I fell in love with the medium, with the process, with the stories that could be told there, and quite honestly, with these adventures that you could go on all around the world. It's very difficult to communicate science. Uh, in general, and it's very difficult to communicate to the average person using charts or graphs. We're trying to create imagery that tells the story of climate change without charts or numbers or graphs so that you can see imagery and just understand what's happening. When we released Chasing Ice at Sundance, we had no intentions or plans for impact or outreach. People kept asking, what can I do? And it's a really hard question to answer what you can do about climate change. From seeing all of the tremendous support and desire from the public uh, for us to tell them what they can do, we, we tried to answer that. We really worked hard to figure out how we can help. We are currently working on a sequel to Chasing Ice. Uh, we've been documenting how the oceans are changing and how specifically how climate change is affecting the oceans. And we're looking through a variety of techniques that have never been done before, um, have never been tested before. We're inventing new cameras and new technology to try to capture something that nobody's ever seen. For me, uh, receiving this fellowship is a huge recognition and a huge honor. Um, I am completely humbled by it. More than anything else, it's a testament to the support that Sundance and Discovery Channel have given me and other filmmakers as well. There's no doubt whatsoever films have a massive potential for impact. You can get an audience together, you can expose them to new information, they can get really emotional and really motivated to get involved. We could not do this work without support of institutions like Sundance and Discovery Channel.